Hello creative people, this is Catherine with The Motley Art, and I have my final two 6x6 six six layouts for the Isabella Gratitude book, and I hope you watch all the way to the end because there's a little surprise at the end of this video. So I'm going to show you what I did for these last two layouts, and the first thing was to score all around the sides, and I did two scores, one at a quarter and one at a half. And I just really like the type of border that this gives. I think it looks very elegant. It always, I mean, it kind of reminds me of what you see a lot of times with wedding invitations, but I still love the look. And then I went and I used just a nail file to scruff up the score marks so that the white would come through. So the cardstock that I'm using that Close to My Heart has is a white core cardstock. Now, I used to not really be a fan of this type of cardstock, but since um, I've been using it more with these kits, I've really come to love it, and you can get these really nice effects with it really easily. And it's kind of fun to, you know, go around with the, the file and kind of scuff it all up. So I did that on both sides, and then I had to try to make a decision about what I was doing in the middle. So for this layout, um, I wanted to use these triangles that actually came from a different layout. I wanted to use the other side of the paper. I kind of did that a lot in a lot of these layouts is I tried to use some of the scraps that I was making along the way. I just think it really helps you not to have a ton of scraps left over. So I knew I wanted to use that yellow and white triangle and I was trying to see what else would go really well with it and it was the blue paper. I mean I tried as you can see I tried to make that leaf paper work but it just wasn't the contrast that I was looking for and I just don't think it went with the blue as well. Maybe if I had been using the green cardstock the sage cardstock it might have gone a little bit better but with the blue barrel I'm sorry blue bird one it just I needed more contrast. So I did cut those to five by five so that they would fit nicely inside of that border that I made. And then for my sentiment, I decided I wanted to do a stack sentiment again, but I actually had a sentiment in my one stamp set that was stacked. So I only needed to do it on the other one. So I use two different stamp sets. One is called Every Bit of Wonderful and one is Flowers for You. And the Every Bit of Wonderful, I do believe is not gonna be available after September, well, after August, 2021. But the Flowers for You should still be available. If you go to Close to My Heart, um, in the description, there is a link to go to Close to My Heart and see all of the stamp sets that they have available at this time. And I used the Fern ink, which is also going away at the end of 2021, August 2021, sorry, the end of August. But I wanted to use it here. It's a lovely color, so I have it, I'm using it, and I used the circles from a previous layout. So I did a sh shaker on a previous layout, and these were the extra pieces after I had made the frames for the shaker. So I just decided let's put that on there as well. And I think the two greens really go nicely together and it gives its own type of contrast. So, so pretty. And then for the love, everything I did cut around it, as you could see, because I felt like it didn't look as good in a square shape. So I've come to do that a little bit more often where I actually kind of cut around. It looks a little bit more like a die cut for your sentiment. Uh, I think it looks really nice and just, you know, gives it a, a different look instead of always having everything squared off. So I decided to round the corners on just two sides, on two corners, and then I made sure that I matched up the corner for the triangle as well. And then, as you can see, I brought a whole bunch of different stickers that I had in my stash that I wanted to kind of start to use up so I added those also to the corners and 
I have some heart stickers that I'm gonna add on here in just a moment. So those corner stickers, those I got years ago. Uh, I don't really remember the company's name, unfortunately, I'm sorry. Um, but what I just put down is gunmetal vinyl by Cricut that I cut out in the pinstripes. And so I use that and it just gives it a nice little border there and just made it look a little bit more finished than it did before it had that. And then I'm just going to stick down my circles like you could see straight down, but then I'm going to pop up my sentiments. So I thought that would make a nice visual difference, um, give you some texture. It gives you visual texture when you pop up your sentiment like that from the background that you're using. Uh, that's my favorite way of doing it. I, I like to do that. And it makes it, hmm. see, like if I had popped up that whole circle, it would have felt kind of chunky. And I didn't want that. I didn't want it to feel chunky. So this way, I feel like it doesn't give you that because your smaller element is the popped up element. You're not getting too much and it's not giving you that chunky feeling. It's the only word I can think of right now for the way that it looks. So I just, it's my preference. It's what I like to do when I can do it. So uh, the elements that I'm gonna put around didn't need the sentiment to be flat so I was able to do it for these layouts and so here are the hearts that I was talking about and I got these at Walmart and I do believe they were on clearance when I bought them at Walmart but I'm sure you can find some heart stickers in lots of different places I just love um, this one it really attracted me because of those different colors and I thought those were colors that I tend to use a lot I could make those work in a lot of different layouts and greeting cards and stuff like that. So then I decided I wanted to use some of the glitter gems in the silver and those designs just to me screamed out that they needed something in the middle on a few of them. I didn't want to do it for the whole thing because I am going to put tags down with my journaling so I want to leave space for that but I wanted to put a few around just to give you know, a lot of glitter to this page. And then I should have known when I dumped my sequence out like that all over the place that I was going to end up just going crazy with the sequence because I do, I end up going crazy with the sequence. I just put a whole bunch down on this particular layout on these two layouts, but I think it came out looking really nice. Um, it just, you know, sometimes you want a lot of shine on your project and sometimes you don't. And this one just screamed out for a whole bunch of different blingy pieces. And so I just blinged it up. I loved it. I think it looks great. And you'll see here at the end um, in just a moment what the two look like after I get all the sequins on. And I have to clean up my mess as you can see, um, is not as nice as what's on the video with it just being done in two seconds. But these are the last two layouts for my gratitude book. And now I'm going to show you the whole book. So here it is. I decided to use my Zutter's Bind It All. And I created this flower off my Cricut. And I used the gold foil sticker to cut that out. I just love the way that looks. I mean, I just think that looks so pretty and elegant on the front of the cover. And I'm going to show I'm showing you here these this is the type of tag that I'm going to use and I'm going to have grateful on the top and then I'll put my journaling underneath of that. So I'm just going to flip through so you can see what all the pages look like once they're bound together. And again, just in case that didn't come out clear, I do have a Zutter's Bind It All, and that's what I used to create the book. Um, it is six and a quarter by seven, and I did use gray cardstock for the pages and for the cover, and I did use, I wrapped some chipboard and I put it there on the back of the cover just to give it a little bit of stability so it wouldn't be too flimsy. 
Um, I like my covers to have a little bit of strength to them. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you've subscribed to my channel. And if you have any comments, please leave them down below. I'd love to hear them. And I hope you have a creative day.